Friends, recently many universities and journals have started checking AI scores for the submitted documents. So if you are making use of ChatGPT or any other AI tools in your research, then it is highly recommended to check AI score of your research document before submission and try to keep that within the permissible limits. And here in this video, I will tell you how to do that. So hello everyone, I welcome you all to your favorite channel, My Research Support. I am Dr. Nilesh Kumbar and before we move ahead with this video, Please do not forget to subscribe this channel and check out this video description for my live research training workshops. And now in this video, we'll be discussing about four popular AI humanizing tools, Qlbot, Higgs Bypass, Bypass GPT and Stealth Writer. And these tools will help you to reduce AI score and keep that within the acceptable limits. But as per the new Turnitin's update, it is claiming that Turnitin's updated AI detector is now capable to detect the AI score from the humanized text. That does mean if you have used any of these AI tools to reduce AI score, but then also turn it and can detect the AI score from those documents and hence most importantly first we'll be discussing about the capabilities of all these ai tools means to what extent these ai tools are capable to reduce ai score and bypass new updated turnitin's ai detector and then second point is the quality of the humanized text means we will discuss which ai tool is accurate and gives quality output and then the last point is about cost so we will discuss whether these are free tools or paid tools if these are paid tools then we will discuss which ai tool is cost effective and along with that we will also be discussing how you will get all these tools at discounted rates now let's take one example and we will analyze all these four ai tools and based on that we will decide the best humanizing tool now here we will take this file for the demonstration so i have generated entire text by using chat gpt and then i have checked this file in turnitin you can see this so the turnitin is showing 100% AI score and that is obvious so the entire text is highlighted and that represents AI generated text now let's check the capabilities of all these four AI tools and for that first I'll copy this entire text that we have generated by using chat GPT and first I'll humanize that by using Higgs bypass so this is its interface so I'll paste the copied text and here you can see this as my account is very basic in one turn i can humanize maximum 500 words so let me remove this paragraph maybe this paragraph as well and now i'll click on humanize so you can see this file has got processed and higgs is showing the output content seems to be human written and now i'll copy this text into my word file that i have named as higgs simply save this file and close so similarly i'll use the same text in bypass gpt then humanize and you can see this it is checking whether it is human written and now it is also showing the output content seems to be human written so from here also i'll copy the text into another word file that i have named as bypass gpt and i'll save this file so in similar fashion i'll humanize the text by using quillbot and stealth writer within this quillbot interface also i'll paste this entire text and we'll click on humanize so here you can see the humanized text so i'll copy this entire text from here back into my word file that i have named as quillbot i'll save this file again we'll go back to this interface and i'll use stealth writer and here the most important problem is it doesn't accept special characters so you have to click on convert to sci so here you can see different models you can choose latest one you'll find different levels as well let me choose eight and then i'll click on humanize and you can scroll down to see the humanized text so here you can see stealth writer inbuilt ai detector is showing still showing 70 percent ai generated content so for that what you can do is you can change this model maybe to ghost 4.7 pro you can change the level and you can again click on humanize so you have different models and levels so you can see which combination show best possible results okay now we'll consider this text because this still writers inbuilt ai detector is showing 45 percent ai score but that percentage may be different in Turnitin. So from here also, I'll copy this entire text into my word file that I have named as Stealth Writer and I'll click on save. And now if you can see, we have total four files, total five files, one original file, which is chat GPT generated that we have already checked and it is showing 100% AI score. Now let me check 
all remaining files and then we will discuss about their AI scores. So I first need to upload this file. So let me tick all these options, change this as no repositories, submit, then I'll name this file as Hicks AI Humanize File 1. Select that file, upload, then confirm and go to diamond inbox. So similarly, I'll upload remaining three files. Now here you can see that I have uploaded all the required files. So this is similarity percentage. So the original similarity was 8% and almost all the humanizers along with AI score reduces similarity as well. Now most importantly we will check the AI score so first we will move ahead with Higgs and surprisingly you can see that it is still showing 83% AI score that does mean Turnitin is capable of detecting AI score from the documents those are humanized by using Higgs bypass so its ultimate meaning is Higgs bypass is no more effective after Turnitin's new update. Now let's check bypass GPT. So this is the text humanized by using bypass GPT and here also the result is surprising. This text is still showing 100% AI detected text. That does mean bypass GPT has also failed right after Turnitin's new update. We'll do same thing for Qlboard. So here also you can see the AI score percentage is 91%. That does mean Qlboard also unable to bypass Turnitin's AI detector. So generally Qlboard is most popular for paraphrasing and definitely it is capable to drastically reduce the plagiarism. But for AI score it failed. Now same thing we will check for Stilt Writer and here is the surprising result. You can see it is showing star percentage that does mean Stilt Writer has reduced AI score from 100% to less than 20%. So the meaning of star percentage is when your AI score is between 1 to 19% then that is considered as well within the acceptable limits and because of the false positives or inaccuracies of the AI detectors this AI score is shown by star percentage that simply means it is accepted. So it ultimately means you only have this option if you are looking for humanizing the text or reducing AI score from your research documents. Now it is of no use to discuss the quality of the text which is humanized by Higgs, Bypass, GPT and Qlboard but still comparatively still the writer's quality is good. It doesn't mean it is excellent and rather no AI tool is 100% accurate but unfortunately this is not a free tool. You can look at the pricing plans and if you want to get access to the unlimited words then you may have to subscribe for this plan 35 USD per month and if you want even everything unlimited including Ghost Mini and Ghost Pro then you may move ahead selecting this plan and if you don't want to pay even this amount so for discounted rates don't forget to visit this video description. So thank you very much for watching this video and the most important point to note that I am not promoting to use AI tools blindly but sometimes these humanizers may require as in current scenario these AI detectors are not 100% accurate that does mean even if you are writing the text in your own words so that text sometimes show as AI generated text and also if you are making use of AI tools to rewrite your content in order to improve the technical part or by any ways to strengthen your research text then also that text may show AI percentage. So in this scenario you may use this humanizer but still manual attention is required. So once again thank you very much and do not forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon. So I will see in my next video. Bye bye.